Welcome back. And a quick turnaround for the second of the quarterfinals here from Linz in Austria. Out onto the court walks to capturing the Alexandra. And we'll be taking on the defending champion who had the narrowest of escapes yesterday. Certainly a couple of match points in the second set breaker to be Elisabetta Contiavento coming through in two and a half hours to eventually get the W. It's time to turn things around either for Potapova today. He was the champion here 12 months ago. Such an impressive win. Tough matches en route to winning the title as well, so potentially treading a similar path. For that photo, don't you? Plenty of people in that one. But this should be a good contest. We played on one previous occasion match and didn't actually finish. Due to injury. Potter Pover. And we'll take on the second seed. Both of these players coming here fresh off the first round defeat, surprisingly. Of Melbourne Park. Leicester once again alongside Lucy Arl in the commentary box. It's got some potential this Lucy, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, as you, you mentioned, that match that Montepover was able to squeeze through yesterday, save those break points, it all got pretty dramatic, didn't it? So she must have taken some confidence from that, but obviously Montepover defending champion and uh, Montepover a, a finalist a few years ago. that kind of manifest itself when I mean, you played a match like that last night, you two and a half hours, you come back from the, the brink of defeat, does it, does it sort of, I guess even elements, you feel a little indestructible perhaps coming back the next day? Definitely, I mean I think it gives you that boost of confidence, you're almost, you, you know, thinking that you you could have been out of the tournament and you, you've got a, another chance, I mean it was a, an epic second set tie break and that finally able to, to close it and still the, the third was tight as well and I'm sure you know, defending champion there's some extra pressure and, and stress even though you know you play well here it can bring that expectation that you can feel it certainly seemed to be the, the case for Potapova maybe it would just have allowed her to free herself up feel a little more confident, comfortable extra pressure obviously coming back as the defending champion always enjoyed watching this lady play she's such a unique style i don't think there's too many women on the tour who hit the ball as flat loose off both wings <laughs> as alexander does yeah and uh, i mean she's had some big wins kind of a bit of a late developer coming through you see there the, the four titles finalists here the first finals you made in, in 2018 didn't actually break into top 100 till uh, 2017 i think so she came through qualies actually to to make that final and then we started to see her rise but she's tough to play against you know makes a lot of balls does move well but it's a, it's a flat strike which certainly will suit these types of courts will stay low through the court can hit through her opponents and just kind of gets on with things as well that's the uh, 
the head-to-head, -head, although you mentioned that match that they played was in the straw, but that was in quality, so uh, head-to-heads showing their main draw appearances, and there's Potipova coming through that one, Alexandrova retiring in the second set after losing the first. Yeah, Alexandrova losing an absolute heartbreaker in Melbourne in round one to Laura Seatman. I watched the, the, that match actually on the Don Court 3. It was over three hours. And she eventually won Seatman 11-9 in the third in the final set tiebreak. So that would have been a bitter pill to swallow. A bit tough. She's playing some good tennis as well. Have you made the semis in Adelaide? Lost it off the Penko there, Alexandrova. Seatman always a, a tough competitor to compete to play against. Yeah, absolutely right. Good indoor player, Alexandra. She's often talked about that, how she feels comfortable playing indoors, obviously. And you hit the ball a bit flatter, got as much spin to work with, so the conditions are as they are here and can be helpful. to try and make something happen once again today and perhaps possibly take advantage of any fatigue that there might be in the defending champion this afternoon. <laughs> 